Hello, this is Matthew Pizzgatti from survivingtech.com. Here is another video over the Android operating system. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about basics, just the plain, simple basics of how to navigate the Android operating system. Um, this is going to be a great video if you have not used Android previously, if it's been a number of years, and perhaps you were on iOS, an iPhone, um, an iPad, using a Mac, you know, anything like that, where you, or even using a Windows phone, where you're not used to using the Android operating system, this will be a great introductory video for you. Um, you know, right here we're looking at the Android home screen. Now I've set that wallpaper, I've added some customizations already. Uh, now the important thing to note is that you really don't have to go in-depth and customize the phone. It should work out of the box for you. You really don't have to do much with it. You know, being a tech guy myself, I love to delve in, customize settings, um, automate everything, just you know, change everything down to a T exactly how I like it. And uh, the operating system really offers that, and that's one of the things I love about it. I really do love the Android operating system for what it is. So let's get down to business here. This is the home screen that we're staring at. Um, generally, if you want to change some setting with the home screen, um, you can see if if I swipe left or right, which is just touching with your finger and swiping to the left or right, it allows me to swipe through the different screens that I have. Now generally if you want to change something like add or remove a screen, you'll either put your fingers on the screen, you know, an inch or two apart, and pinch them together. Or uh, alternatively, on, on a lot of Android phones, you'll just long press, which means you'll just hold your finger down on the screen in one spot. And some sort of menu like this will generally pop up that allows you to swipe through and um, actually delete screens. I can hold and, and press and then drag them up to this trash can here and delete them. Um, I can add screens. I can designate one as my home screen, which is the one that pops up normally when you unlock your phone. Um, you can see here you can set your wallpapers and you can add widgets. Uh, we'll talk about widgets in just a moment. First, let's talk about the home screen. The home screen is like your desktop um, on a Mac, on a Windows PC that you may use for work. Desktop, just like that. You have icons, which you can long press on and then drag around. You can organize these however you like. If you drag them on top of one another, and on most Android phones, this will create a folder. Um, the great thing about this, you can open it up, tap on the name, and you can actually name this whatever you like. This offers great customization as far as you want to have a games folder, maybe a business folder, and kind of separate things out so you can, can manage it a little better. I don't use the folders very often. A lot of people make great use of them and and you know, just however you want to be able to find your favorite or needed apps quicker. Now how do we get icons to the home screen to begin with? We're going to open our app drawer. Mine happens to be this icon down at the bottom. Usually it'll be somewhere similar in the middle. Your app drawer is going to your app drawer is going to list all of the available apps on your phone. Now if I were to long press on one of these applications, I'm then able to drop it anywhere on the home screen or drag it to the side and drop it on a different screen. And again, some people organize their application icons via screens or uh, folders, whatever works for you. Now I'm actually using a what's called a home screen replacement application right now. Um, that's what we're looking at. It looks just like a home screen, but it offers some different functions that I really enjoy, like this slideable dock here at the bottom that not every phone has. We'll talk about home screen replacements in a different video, but for right now we're looking at the basics. So you have your app drawer, where all of your apps are stored, and you can drop them onto your, your home screen. You can create folders. You can organize and uh, add or remove screens. Now let's talk about those widgets. Here's where we can add the widgets, and you'll see I already have one. This is a widget here that I've added. These can be dragged around like your icons. And basically a widget, all a widget is, is something that sits on the home screen, and it 
brings in data from another application. So this is a widget from the clock application. It allows me to set two different locations on the map, and that will give me the, uh, the time there and the date, which you know prevents you from calling relatives at 3 a.m. in the morning and waking them up. Um, a lot of banks have widget applications that will show you your available balance. Um, some widgets are really just shortcuts to open a portion of an app quicker, like perhaps a direct dial, which is like a speed dial to a favorite contact. Um, maybe device maintenance, so I can see how much storage is available at a glance. Um, really a lot of different uses for widgets that just go a little beyond having to actually open up an application and get to these features. So there's really a, a lot of nice, nice different widgets. Uh, maybe a quick glance at your messages, your text messages, or your email. Um, the Google Cards widget, very useful, um, can give you things at a glance like uh, seeing how long before you get home, seeing the weather for the day, or your favorite stock ticker. So widgets are really useful for things like that. Um, one thing I don't recommend is using a lot of widgets on your home screen because it does draw more power. Um, it can make your phone slow down a bit. You know, it's it's using a lot of processing power. The the more widgets that you're adding. Um, similarly, there's something called live wallpapers that I don't recommend. Now, a live wallpaper is amazing. It's usually something animated. Um, you know, your background, your whole wallpaper will actually move, maybe interact like uh, ripples on a water, on a little pond um, with a little koi pond. These were very big when um, Android phones were really getting popular, maybe uh, maybe about six years ago, eight years ago, somewhere in that time span. People really loved those, but they uh, suck a lot of power and, again, kind of slow or lag your phone a bit. You know, it's not as big of an issue on the newer phones because they're more efficient, but that's just something to keep in mind. So that's really the basics of uh, the Android operating system. This is the home screen. Um, one other thing I might add is if you're not sure where something is, besides having to Google it, if you swipe down the top, well, this is your notification bar, so if you swipe down from the top of the screen, you'll get your notification bar, um, notifications from Facebook, uh, new text messages received, everything will show up here. Now if you have this um, this icon here, this little arrow, a lot of times this lets you um, you know, expand down. You might have a few more things to control, like the auto brightness, which will just essentially automatically adjust the brightness of your screen based on sunlight or anything else shining in. You'll also normally have these quick settings. Um, airplane mode. This is the flashlight. Turns on the LED. This is auto rotation. This is a very important feature to remember if you're laying in bed, um, you know, or on your side on the couch, and you don't want the screen flipping into landscape mode. Locking this will keep it in portrait, so that's very useful. Um, I have Bluetooth here. Turn Bluetooth on or off. Silence and Wi-Fi. And if I drag this down, I might have a few more quick settings I can look at. And you can customize which ones are available up top, at least on the. Um, S8, the Samsung Galaxy series of phones, which is what I'm on now. Um, but so besides Googling, uh, if you're trying to find a setting, click on this gear icon, at least on the Samsung phones, I know that it's there. And you can actually use this magnifying glass at the top. And this will um, help you find certain settings. Maybe you're looking for a setting on sound. Um, touch sounds, screen lock sounds, uh, you might find shutter sound for your camera. You know, perhaps you're looking at uh, trying to figure out how to capture your screen. We can turn on this palm swipe to capture feature. You know, all all sorts of things that we might be looking for. Um, you know, if we want to look at input, we might could change the language that we're inputting from the keyboard. If we want to have Spanish Spanish characters, for instance. Um, a lot of settings can be found just by searching. They've added this on the newer phones. Really a great feature, so you don't have to go on an endless Google hunt for a setting that's, that's easily available just by searching within the phone. So that has been a uh, kind of basic overview of navigating Android's home screen, adding apps to the home screen, widgets, adding removing screens from, your, from the home screen itself.
and uh, this offers a lot of different possibilities for customization already. Uh, we'll talk about home screen replacements and a few more in-depth settings in further videos. So I hope you found this informative. Please leave a comment if there's anything else that we should go over or anything you're confused about. Maybe your phone does something completely different. Um, you know, just as a side note, if you don't have an LG phone, you, you might can turn it off at this point. But if you do have an LG phone, especially made within the last few years, a lot of those phones do not do the app drawer. Um, all of your icons, all of your apps are just thrown onto the home screen. And you really have to uh, throw them into folders to organize or you have to download a home screen replacement, which I, I do recommend. And again, we'll talk about probably in the next video that I make here. So um, hope that was informative. Again, comment down below and uh, thank you for watching.